Konnichiwa, bitches. This time, I unbox Japan Crate. I have no idea what I'm going to get. Welcome back to Chamber 525 Reviews. My name is Uncle Cody, and I was supposed to have my brother, CB Vaughn, DSB, the man who does the wrestling videos with me, unbox my Japan crate today, but he's being a little, uh, he's being a little absent, I guess is the best way to put it. He uh, wasn't able to make it for the past two weeks. So I just could not stand it any longer. I have to crack this bad baby open. Um, I really, you know, I've been doing these unboxing videos now for the last couple months. Uh, typically the Nerd Crate Horror Block style ones. And then I saw this after, actually after watching some BuzzFeed videos where they were trying snacks from around uh, the world from different countries. I really got it in my head that I wanted to try some myself, and then I actually happened across Japan Crate, which is supposed to give you, um, you know, all these different Japanese candies and snacks um, for, you know, the, the same price you pay for any of the other loot crates or nerd blocks. Um, this one, though, I think I paid... I think it was, uh, they have they had like two options. One was like $15.99 and another one was like $25.99, $29.99. I don't really uh, remember off the top of my head right now. But um, anyway, I went for the big one because I'm like, I'm, I'm a big guy. I get really hungry and I love food that I cannot pronounce. So anyway, I'm going to dive into this right now with my trusty yellow box cutter. Safety first! Alright, here we go. DSB, you don't know what you're missing. Because I haven't opened the box yet. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The moment of truth. shit fell out. Yeah, it's just a card that tells you what's on it. Okay, so I'm going to pull this stuff out. <laughs> okay, so just looking down at this, it, it just looks like, I don't know, it just, <laughs> a bunch of crap that I, I have no idea what it is. I mean, I'm just going to pull random crap out. Now, I'll, I'll test it while I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm not going to open. I'll show you everything that I have, but I'm not going to actually try everything right now. I might do another video later on where I'm trying all the candy, but, you know, I'm not going to try try everything and pull it out. I'll, I'll just show you what I have there. Okay, so first of all, there is <laughs> uh, something called Power Squash. And uh, I... That's well. That that just seems kind of gross. I it doesn't say carbonated soft drink. Poca Saparo Power Squash. I just butchered that word. Um, yeah. I I mean, is is it squash flavored like the vegetable? I can't imagine. It's probably just some Japanese play on words about something. I don't. I don't drink soda, so I'm not really gonna drink this. I'll leave this for DSB to drink later on. So that's that's interesting. Power Squash. Okay, and then the... <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing, I apologize. I'm laughing because I, I literally, like, I can't read anything that's on this stuff. Like, I mean, look at this. I, I mean, there's not a bit of English on here, so I, I don't know what this is. I mean, it, it feels like a gummy, and it looks like a gummy on there, and there's a, a very sad geisha girl on there, I guess after a night of turning tricks, she turns to her um, creamy filled heart. I don't know what that is. That's weird. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to crack this open right now because I love gummies and I just I just have to try this. It... Uh, oh, okay. Loti Komi Chan Gummy. Well, that explains it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'll fuck you up in this thing. 
Okay. Well, it's got no real distinguishing smell. Uh oh, I mean, it just looks like a peach gummy in the shape of a sad geisha heart. All right, here we go. Not bad. I mean, it's, it's it's got a very subtle taste to it, and it might very well be peach. Oh, mm. well, it's got a, a nice little nice little creamy or liquidy center, which I kind of like, kind of like a gusher, but not really. That's not bad. I love gummies, so. All right. Uh. <laughs> Another thing. Look at all this fucking gibberish. Don't these Japanese people know how to speak English? I, I don't know what this is. I mean, it looks like a, an ice cream scoop thing. I don't, I don't fucking know what that is. It's fun looking though. I mean, that's that's one thing I'll give the, uh, the Japanese people. Uh, they definitely know how to market to people with short attention spans and I, I don't know I mean just everything is just so poppy and out there and everything's got a little figure or a little logo or character to go along with it it's a little like Kirby or some shit anyway I, I don't know what this is I'm gonna crack it open by the way it, it's like midnight right now when I'm making this video uh, and I'm eating all this sugar so I'm not gonna sleep tonight uh, Wow, this is like a do-it-yourself kind of thing. It's like it comes with a spoon and ice cream, little packs and stuff. So there's a wafer. I like wafers. I'm gonna eat this. Mmm, that's a terrible wafer. I'm just gonna set this to the side. Sorry. All right. Uh, <laughs> country ma'am cookie. It's a little little cookie. Wheat cracker. Fujiyawa Country Mam Crispy. Alright. See how this is. I mean it really just looks like a one of those stale, hard chips ahoy chocolate chip cookies. cookies. Yeah, that's what it smells like too. Well, where the fuck are the chocolate chips? I mean, on the front, it shows chocolate chips. There's not a single goddamn chip in this thing. Not bad, though. But, I mean, it really is just a hard, a hard chip cookie. Sans chips. All right. Fruit drops. I can make that out with the I don't know whatever else that is. I mean, fruit drops and see if it's gummy or if it's actually just like hard. Hard. All right, I'm not gonna eat these right now. I save them for later. They're really good. They look like lemon drops, just in different flavors. All right, moving on. Huh. All right. It's like chocolate bar. That's all broken to hell. Uh, thanks, FedEx or whatever came, this came in through. And it looks like there's strawberry crisps on it. I mean, I can't pronounce it. I'm just going off the photo. I'm just putting the context clues together of the packaging, which has chocolate, what looks to be chocolate, and little sprinkles of things. And I see strawberries and, and raspberries on the side, so I'm assuming that's what's on it. Let's see. <laughs> Smells like the uh, like the, the the Kellogg cereal that has the the uh, freeze uh, dried strawberries in it. That's what it smells like. Astronaut food style. No, I should check it. That's one hundred percent what it is. It's freeze dried strawberries on chocolate. Which Shit, it's pretty good, actually. 
The chocolate's really good. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Fuck. Alright. Haichu Mini Candy. Mori Yang Ya. Mori Nanga. I'm throw that out there. Alright, I'm not gonna eat these little hard candy or chewy mini candies. Looks pretty good. Oh shit. That's <laughs> again, I don't know what this is. Japanese anime looking stuff. I mean this makes you makes me wanna watch Dragon Ball Z or some shit like that. But I don't I, I mean I don't know if this is food or if this is like a playing card or whatever this is. Let's see what it is. You can see the pretty packaging. It's uh I mean, it's just a wafer. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love wafers, but... Pretty good. Solid wafer there, Japan. Alright. Con Pieto, which... Con Pieto. Sounds like Spanish. Uh, sugar candy. It... Uh, yeah, just sugar candy. Sugar and coloring ingredients. <laughs> um, it looks kind of like rock candy, I guess. I'm not going to open this now. Looks like it would be pretty good. But uh, this is a, a pretty big package. It's, you know, that's one of the things, whatever you, they say when you order the big box, the, the, the premium or ultra, or whatever they're calling it, uh, you get a couple bigger items. I, I think they said you get a couple do-it-yourself. Items, which I guess that thing I couldn't figure out earlier with the ice cream looking thing. Uh, that's a do-it-yourself. And here's another one, at least what it looks like. It looks like it's uh, draw your own cookie or throw away your own garbage. Thing. I don't know what this is, but it's, it's pretty thick and it, it there's nothing in it. Except, I mean, I see some instructions and a little package or something. So cake mix. This is right back here. Um, so you're making your own cake. I don't like this. I don't want to have to make something to eat. I, I That's why I ordered the box, so it's just little snacks that come, and I can just open it and eat it. But uh, they have a couple of these in, in there, and you know I don't care for that too much, but I guess if you have kids or something, and, and they just want to put their hands on and, and just create something, that's cool, but not my cup of ginseng tea. But thank you, Japan. Uh, okay, couple things left. We have a Miji uh, chocolate bar. It's just white chocolate. I'm assuming it's just a white chocolate bar. And I fucking love white chocolate. So I'm gonna be saving this for tomorrow because uh, tomorrow's white chocolate Friday, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy that. So put that aside. And the last item, last but not least. Caplico Mini, which <laughs> looks like a mini little ice cream cone, like an ice cream cone cookie. And I actually am going to open this right now because this is interesting to me. I, uh, Japan, you have such wacky food, and I love it. I actually uh, want to go to Japan sometime so I can wander around the streets and not understand a single word that anybody's saying, and that, uh, uh, also, just so I can go and buy as many Pokeballs as possible. Possibly some Dragon Ball Z and anything else that's stereotypically j Japanese. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. Well, thanks, shipping. It came in broken. So, instead of having a nice little uh, scoop of ice cream at the top, I get a nice little, like somebody, you know, ate half my comb. But, it's strawberry it definitely smells like strawberry. And... Well, that's actually pretty creamy for whatever this is, freeze-dried freeze or, you know, I don't know, but it's actually pretty creamy, so let's give it a whole bite. Mmm. Not gonna lie, that's a tasty motherfucker. And it actually really does taste like an ice cream. 
So, kudos for that. But, you know, that's it. I mean, that's, that's essentially $30 worth of Japanese candy. Is it worth it? You know, I always, at the end of these, these videos, these unboxing videos, I say if it's worth it to me or not. You know, I guess it really is worth it to me just for the fact of I get to try something really different, something that I, I don't get here. I can't just go out and buy. Like, I can't just go out and buy a white chocolate bar. Okay, that's a bad example. But, you know, I can't go out and buy a power squash or these little ice cream things. And, and it's nice to get that in, as opposed to, say, like a horror block or a loot crate or nerd block, where that's just little tchotchkes that are coming in and just taking up room in my house, as opposed to these items that are uh, finite, they're perishable, and, you know, they're gone after one use. So, yeah, it's actually not a bad deal. $30 for all this candy that I would never get otherwise. So I guess I kind of would recommend it. I actually wish there were some other services where it would be a variety of foods and snacks from other countries, not just, like, the one certain one. Like, you know, watching those BuzzFeed videos, I see them trying stuff from... Uh, Israel and, and Palestine and Pakistan and you know uh, just all these other countries and I'm like I would like to do that and if they had a box where every month they had a different country or just a mixture of different countries that would be really awesome and I would subscribe to that but uh, in the meantime I'm happy with uh, my Japan crate and that's that's my review I have some other stuff coming in later on this month a couple new boxes a couple little surprises and hopefully my brother, DSB, can actually join me in one of these unboxing videos. But until then, I'm Uncle Cody, and you're watching Chamber 525 Reviews.